Hi guys. This week's art project is creating and sending postcards. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make, how to decorate and how to send off your postcards. Um, for your postcards, you can use boxes found in your pantry. So like cereal boxes, cracker boxes, any kind of food box. It's going to be made of this um, like chipboard material. It's heavy. Um, sometimes it's brown or gray or white, but it's durable and it's really good to use for art projects, especially for postcards because it'll hold up in the, you know, delivery. And all that. So things you're going to need to make your postcard or a box, a ruler, if you have a ruler, a pencil and scissors. Uh, and I will show you how to make it. So I'm gonna be using a Sharpie just so you'll be able to see my lines. Uh, but a typical postcard is four inches high and six inches wide, which is kind of about the size of your hand. So if you don't have a ruler, you can kind of use your hand as a measurement. Uh, but for those of you who have a ruler, we'll just mark out really quickly four wide and six long. and cut out. So, the outside, the part that has the cereal box um, decoration on it. We're going to cover this and I'll show you in a minute how to decorate it. But on the back side, it's going to be just this brown or tan or white um, blank background. So when you're making a postcard, uh, you have a part on the left that is where you're going to write your little greeting or short letter and then on the right side you're going to have three lines for the address and you will have to have a stamp here to send it off so i'm just going to draw this with a if you have a pen that's probably preferable i'll do mine in sharpie so you can see um, i'm not going to put it like in this the line in the center because i want to have a little more space for my note that i'm writing and a little smaller space for my address so i'll kind of shift it over a little bit and it doesn't have to fill up the whole thing and then on the right side, I need three lines for my address. And I need to leave a little bit of room for my stamp. So kind of imagine a stamp would be there and uh, how much room you would need for that. The top line is for uh, the person you're sending it to. And then the second line is for their street. And then the third line is for city, state, and zip. Okay, so next step is going to be decorating your postcard. Um, if you have paint at home, um, I have a lot of these little 50 cent from Walmart paints that I use for everything. Um, if you have paint at home, then you can simply paint over it. Um, it does take a couple of coats to get rid of the design from the cereal box, but put a couple of coats of paint on it and then paint your design if you have paint around the house or if you have like house paint that covers even better if your parents will let you use that uh, another option is using tape so if you have like painters tape or uh, masking tape or if you have duct tape you can cover the back with that and then do like a little doodle and marker or pencil or even white out if that would show up better um, and then a third option would be to use glue so glue stick or glue bottle and any kind of paper that you have at home like this is just college rolled paper or uh, printer paper or even you could do a collage from a, ma a magazine um, just glue that down on the back maybe you draw on top of it maybe uh, you can paint on top of that for 
most of mine that I did because I had the supplies, uh, I put tape down first. I put masking tape on it, two layers of masking tape, and then I put paint on top of it. And then that required a lot less um, paint to like cover up the box. But see what you have around your house that you can use if you just have glue or if you just have tape. Um, and paper, you can collage, you can draw with Sharpies, you can draw with markers, whatever you have on hand to make a pretty design for the cover of your postcard. Get creative. So when you submit the pictures of your project finished, I want you to send a, a picture of what your decorative part of your postcard looks like. And I also want to see that you have addressed it to someone um, with the stamp and you're sending it off and you have a message. If you don't want me to see what the message is, that's fine. You can just kind of cover it up with like a piece of paper or your hands or something when you take the picture. Uh, I am going to include uh, some teachers and faculty's addresses uh, at the documents attached in case you wanted to send a sweet little postcard to your teacher. I thought that could be really sweet. Um, but I got, I mean, when I started making these, I got really kind of addicted to it. And so I made a million of them because I have 1 million cereal boxes. So send me your pictures. I'm excited to see what you guys make. Bye.